what is up guys team player 98 here and hopefully you guys are having a good day today uh today we are doing a different type of video um as you guys can tell by the title of the video we are going to be uh or i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my thumbnails uh and if you guys do end up enjoying this video please be sure to leave a like uh it really does help uh but yeah but no further ado let's get on with this video um now as you guys can see uh i'm on a site called pickmonkey.com which i will link down below for you guys to use if you guys want to um, and this site is absolutely free. You guys can pay for it and become a royal member as you guys can see up here the little crown You can become a, uh, a member um, If you guys wanted to pay for it, but you guys don't have to uh, So today uh, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails now normally I will type into my search bar uh, Cool plan backgrounds or something along the lines like that uh, or grunge backgrounds uh, just because I like them to be plain because when you go into pick monkey you can do all sorts of edits and stuff like that and um, so the uh, The picture I've uh, picked out is this one which I already have saved to my desktop So I can just go right into it when I go into pick monkey um, Now the reason why I'm using this one um, is because it is 1920 by 1080 plus you know I do like it uh, but um, it's better to use backgrounds that are bigger as opposed to smaller because if you look at this one it is 579 by 574 so when I go into edit it if I was to use it it would look all pixelated and the quality would just be terrible so it's better to use bigger backgrounds um, you know uh, so I'm using this one and uh, I already have it saved so let's go back to pick monkey and I uh, will start editing it so here we are, we are at pickmonkey.com. Now all we have to do is click edit and uh, go to our desktop because that is where we saved it and uh, we're going to be scrolling all the way down and clicking that picture. Now once we do that and we load it up, it'll load up this and uh, this is pickmonkey.com. This is basically what it is. Now what you guys can do is you guys can resize, crop, add text, do a whole bunch of stuff on this, add themes. Uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this thing and this is why I like it. Um, and I actually might become a member as well um, because I like to use it for thumbnails. I think it's really good. Uh, but yeah, so the first thing I normally do when I get into this is I normally resize it. Um, I normally resize it to 220. I just do that. And uh, it is 393 by 220. And uh, we are going to apply the, um, the, the change. Now, let's say I did not like the change I just did. You can always press this undo thing. It'll undo my last action I did. So, it'll put it back to normal. Uh, so, that's what's really cool also is if you make a mistake, you can always undo it. You don't have to exit out. You don't have to do any of that. Uh, that's something I really do like about this. Um, so, once I'm done resizing, I will normally go to sharpen. And uh, we'll put it for this one, looking at the picture. We'll put it at 30 because that looks pretty good. We'll leave the clarity how it is. We're going to apply that. Now with my videos, if you guys haven't noticed by my thumbnails, I like my edges, as you guys can see right here. I like them to be darker. So um, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And uh, yeah, uh, the saturation, we're going to do 20. The temperature, we're going to do a little warmer. So we're going to do 25. Uh, that looks pretty good now the exposure is we're gonna put down to negative 10 that's a pretty balanced place to put it um, you know if you guys wanted it to be brighter or darker you know it's all up to you I'm just showing you guys how I do it uh, highlights we're gonna be good going 20 shadows we're gonna be going 20 minus 20 and then we're gonna leave the contrast how it is and then once we do all that uh, we are done uh, with this portion now we're going to go to um, this right here this butterfly now it is the overlays now we're going to be adding an overlay uh, if you guys want to um, now I'm going to be adding uh, this right here um, it is just uh, the T that is my logo and uh, it just stands for team player 98 as you guys know we're gonna be putting it right there now you can do blend modes if you guys don't know what that is you guys can see it can make it darken, difference, uh, hard light, light, and you can do pretty much change it to however you guys want it. And then we'll do that, and then we'll put it the fade to 10 as well. And uh, I think that looks pretty cool right there. And uh, now we're going to go to add text. Um, and uh, it's going to load really quick. And uh, you guys can see all the different text fonts you guys can do. Now the ones that you guys see that have a crown on it, you guys can't use it unless you guys are a royal member. Um, which I am not so that's why I'm not going to be using it, but you guys don't have to be to be able to make something cool uh, You guys can do just fine without it 
Um, but uh, we're gonna be picking this font. I actually really like this one. I actually lose it. I actually use it a lot. Uh, so now we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna click it and put add text, and then uh, we're gonna do for the thumbnail of this video. We're gonna put how I make my thumbnails, and then we're gonna put an exclamation point as you guys can see. Now we're gonna get our mouse and we're gonna hover over it and then we're gonna click like that and now we're just gonna do that. Now we're gonna click this button to put it all in the middle and um, we're gonna click off of it and then we're gonna do this, stretch it out that way we can put it on top as you guys can see. Now we're gonna make it bigger because that's way too small and you guys probably wouldn't be able to see that so we're going to make it to about 24. Um, now we're going to make the color yellow. That's a pretty bright color. Actually, we'll put a little bit more like that. Now, I'm going to go to blend modes, and uh, I'm going to put it hardened, hard light, because I do like doing that. Um, but you guys can do whatever you guys would like, um, but this is just how I like to do it. Um, but yeah, once we do that, uh, that is kind of like the, uh, I guess you can say the banner of the logo or whatever. Uh, but now we're going to go to frames. Uh, now, I started doing frames because I actually do kind of like them, and uh, normally I'll go to simple edge. And uh, the thickness, you guys can see, you guys can, you know, change all of this. Everything you guys want to do with this, you guys can change it. Uh, normally, I'll put the thickness down to uh, virtually, like, none. I'll probably do, like, five. And then um, the inner color, I like to change it to something that matches the logo text, you know, something bright. So, we'll just do yellow for the purpose of this video. And, um... You know, I like the way it looks, I like the thickness, so we're going to apply the changes like that. And uh, once we do that, what we're going to be going to is we're going But yeah, once we do that, we're going to be scrolling down to the overlays, as you guys can see, the little butterfly tab I am on. And uh, we're going to be going to Sparkle Stars. Now, I do use these a lot, because um, uh, I think they go well with a lot of things. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting it next to the T, and uh, we're going to be fading it 20% 20 um, 20% 20 and then we're going to be putting it as a lightened now what we can do is you guys can see over here these little arrows pointing each direction is it'll switch whatever way it's looking uh, so we'll do this I like the way that looks actually we will put it up here that actually makes more sense so we're going to do that uh, I like the way that looks right there so we're gonna keep it like that now once we do that we are going to be going um, back there we go now that we got that done now we're going to go go back to this tab and uh, we're gonna look for another uh, background to use now I'm just gonna type in for this one cool backgrounds and uh, this you guys will see what it pops up it'll pop up all of these things uh, which is really cool. Now we're going to find one that we like. So here we are, I found one I liked, and uh, this one is 1440 by 900. We don't really have to worry about that for this part because we're going to be shrinking it anyways. We're just going to copy and replace that. Go back up here. Actually, I think I just picked the wrong one. So there we go, we got it. Now we're going to be copy and replacing that. And then now we're going to go back to Pick Monkey, click on this tab, and uh, we're going to go back to Overlays, scroll all the way up. And uh, what we're going to do is go back to desktop, this one, and uh, I did this in one of my previous videos and I actually liked it. Uh, you put an overlay on top of the thumbnail like this, one second, and then we'll do hard light, and then you just sit it right there, and then what you do is you go back to geometrics, and you go click this, and then you go like this. on top now we go we go to color 2 and we go to transparent 
and then once we do that we can put this to yellow because that is the border as you guys can see uh, and we'll put it to hard lights see and uh, I like the way that looks so we're gonna keep it like that so here we are guys once we are done doing that now we're gonna go do the last step which is we're gonna go to effects and uh, normally when I go down to effects we are going to do the dark edges like I said in the beginning I like my edges dark now we're gonna do this to the edges as you guys can see um, now it is brightening them but you guys will see right here if we go to reverse effect it'll reverse the effect and uh, we'll just put it all the rest of the way we're not gonna do it to this one just because I want that one there and uh, yeah so that looks pretty cool to me we'll apply it so that is pretty much it guys this is how I make my thumbnails hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you like I said the links will be down below and then once you are done making it all you have to do is go to save and then I normally go to this one because it is a, the best quality you can do uh, it is a larger file but you know it's not really you know that big you know it's just a thumbnail and you can rename it whatever you want we'll put uh, this videos thumbnail and then uh, yeah we'll just do that but yeah guys this is pretty much how I make my videos thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoy this video like I said all links will be down in the description so yeah guys this is pretty much how I make my thumbnails hopefully you guys liked it and uh, if you guys did please be sure to like the video and if you guys are new please be sure to subscribe thanks for watching guys I'm team player 98 and I'm out